Hi, I just went to Market Basket and I'm gonna show you what I got. This is pretty much for the week. Um, the only thing I didn't get, Al's gonna be angry, he's walking away right now. I didn't get bananas. Because you know why? They had no bananas. And I asked the lady about the bananas. I said, are you gonna be putting out bananas? She said, no, not now. So I have to go somewhere else to get you bananas and I'm sorry. You get margarine? I did. I got margarine. No bananas though. No bananas? No bananas. No banane. All right, goodbye. All right, so no bananas. Um, went to my favorite, favorite supermarket on the planet, Market Basket. This is not sponsored. I love this place. I think I told you guys about these last week or something, but this is absolutely by far the best frozen salmon I've ever had. It's, it's actually restaurant quality. I'm not kidding. It comes individually wrapped. There's six pieces of salmon in here. It is so good. It is absolutely delicious. So get that. If you have a market basket near you, I'm telling you, it's $17 for the bag, but it's worth it. I got two containers of suet for our birdies outside of the kitchen window because I love watching them. And I'm not really fond of them fighting with each other over the suet, but the Blue Jays are getting to be really nasty. Oh, by the way, hi, thanks and welcome to my new channel, Kiki Room. Here, we're just gonna, basically, I'm just gonna share my daily life with you and I'm, I'm hardly going to edit it, if at all. And if you hear Louie barking or the cat meowing, this is what it is. So hopefully, you know, you stick around, you like what I do here, and you subscribe to the channel, so thanks. And here are some blueberries because I love, I love me some blueberries. These were, I think, three bucks. And the blueberries for the past couple of weeks have been really, oh my God. I got me some 2% milk market basket brand. Of course, this expires on March 21st. This is insane. It's already the beginning of March and it's already going by like crazy. Syrup, Al is probably not gonna be happy about this either, but there's nothing I can do. There's nothing I can humanly do. It is Market Basket brand syrup. I've, I don't think I've bought this before. Maybe, maybe, but no Mrs. Butterworths. And then there's like another brand called Milling something and I don't know, he didn't like that one last time, but what am I to do if there's no Mrs. Butterworths? This is the syrup you're gonna get. And these paper bags, I'm sorry. So, all right, story time. There was an older gentleman who was bagging today, and I love him. I love him because see, he put one, two, three, four, five, only six items in one of these paper bags, which I can't stand. I, I just, there's, what do I do with them? I'm not making crafts out of plastic uh, paper bags. I, I'm just not, I'm, I, I hate saving them. They take up so much room. So I, I don't know, I end up throwing them away and I apologize. I, I don't know what else to do with them. I don't wanna do projects with the paper bags. So he's very nice, he bagged them perfectly so it didn't really make me hate the paper bags as much today because they were easy to carry. But most people, and I'm just saying, this is what most people do. They fill these bags to the brim and it's hard to carry the bags. It's like, instead of using four bags, they only want to use two. Just, just only put a few things in the, in the paper bags when you're bagging them because they're just way too hard to carry if they're really heavy. All right, on to the next thing. So this is not a weekly buy. This is maybe a monthly buy. Sandwich bags, of course, Market Basket brand. So what I do with these is I will make the dog and cat ground beef packets. I have to do that today, actually. I'll show you the ground beef in, a, in just a minute. And then I put them, I put like a little bit in each bag and then I freeze them and that's their breakfast every morning. Besides their other food. I got me some butter. 
Market Basket brand, of course. And I did get salted because I have been doing, making bread and doing some baking. So I said, you know what? I'm just gonna get the salted so I don't have to add extra salt. Even though the bread, when you make homemade bread, you need to add more salt. That was the lesson I learned last week when I made bread. You just need to have salt. It is what is the necessary evil for the bread making. Market basket tastes like butter. Margarine, this is for Al, this is not for me. I will not eat this. I eat booty, butter. <laughs> That's what I eat. I do not eat margarine. I don't. I just don't. I can't stand it. But he's eating it to be healthy. Even though I think if you use just less butter, you don't use as much. It's just as healthy. If not healthier than margarine, but who am I to say anything? I'm not a doctor. All right. Got me some broccoli Robbie because I want to make spaghetti aliol and Michelle suggested putting some Robbie in there. Mm, I love me Robbie. I love me Robbie. It is so good. Delish. I got some asparagus because it was on sale and you know saying three dollars a pound on sale is kind of strange to me because I remember asparagus being 99 cents a pound, 89 cents a pound even. $1.99 a pound, $2.99 a pound. It's on sale. I bought it because I love crispy asparagus. I, I just, I could eat it every day, but it's too expensive. I got two lemons for my water and my salmon. So yeah, two lemons. And of course, it's that time of year. St. Party's Day is on its way. And when St. Party's Day is close, you got to have some brisket. You got to have brisket and it looks really good. This was um, $10.29. What I will do is I will put it in the crock pot and I will put beer in the crock pot with the brisket. And it's so, so good. And I cook it for like seven or eight hours. It just falls apart and it's freaking delicious. I'll probably buy some cabbage. I did not buy that today. I got two packs of these. These are a staple in my house now. We eat them constantly. And I'll show you in a few minutes what I do with the Market Basket chicken and what we've been doing for lunch. So the wheat one has 70 calories. This uh, spinach herb has 60 calories per wrap. And these are just so good. So that is a weekly buy for sure. That is a weekly buy. The milk is a weekly buy. Some type of fruit is a weekly buy and some type of veggie is a weekly buy. This is a weekly buy and these are Al's waffles because he does not know how to cook anything else for himself except for waffles. And it's fine, I'm not downing him about it, but he's going to start looking and resembling like a waffle. That's what's going to happen. But he likes them, who am I to judge? I got two steaks, this was pretty good, $13.38. Again, steak has gone through the roof, but we love it and we eat it. And this is the ground beef I get for the pets and I will leave this out because I'm gonna be cooking this very soon in just a few, actually when I'm done here. I always get the 93% lean. So the animals don't get too much fat. Be unhealthy freaking bags Li literally do you want me to send them to you i can't i just don't know and here's my fave here is my fave the market basket chicken how many times you guys hear me talking about this but i love it i absolutely freaking love it what i do is i take my pyrex bowl and i think i i think i've done this on camera before i think so get my gloves i have boxes of disposable gloves you know why because i don't like when it gets all on my hands and my fingernails and it's just nasty and i don't like it so if i put gloves on it just makes the process so much nicer and cleaner here it is everybody was eyeing the chickens and i'm like step away from the chicken let me get my chicken 
$4.69 for this chicken. And I gotta tell you, mm, now I got my son hooked on the chicken. He's like, what do they put in this chicken? I said, I know. It's, it's craft chicken. It's totally like that because it's so addictive. And every time I think about this chicken, I just wanna go buy it. I just wanna go buy more and more and more. And they have an elastic on it, so I'm taking that off. And it just smells so delightful. Oh my God, it smells so good. So what I'll do, can you even see that? No, probably not, but I'm just pulling it apart. I pull it apart. That's why I have the gloves on. Oh yeah, look at that. I just put it in the bowl. And again, just pulling it apart. And I will put foil on the bowl put it in the fridge and it'll sit there. It, it, it's only gonna last a few days because we will eat it all. We will eat every smidge of this chicken because it is so delicious. And when you heat it up, it's still good. And, oh, my Rolling Stones sweatshirt. I got this at TJ Maxx like a year ago. I told you, this is real. I'm not editing that out. Louie's just barking. Right, Lou? Yep. He's probably, a bug may have just walked by the slider door for all I know. Nothing, nothing too exciting. And I just try to peel off like the little bits of fat that you might find. Sometimes I do miss a bone or two, I'm not gonna lie. It happens. but I'm just taking off as much chicken as I can muster and putting it in my bowl so we can go in my belly. It's got to go inside of my belly. Do you guys wear gloves when you take apart chicken or anything like that? Do you do that or do you just go in? Do you just go in hard and, and non-glovey? I have to wear gloves. I just must. It is so gorgeous here today. It's not even funny. It's It's gotta be 60 degrees. I'm in Rhode Island, by the way. For those of you who don't know, it is, it is just stunningly beautiful outside. And the next project now is for me to start getting outside and <laughs> cleaning the yard. And I say yard, but we really have a lot of yard to, to, you know, pick up after. So it's a lot, but I enjoy it. Just, I can only do a little bit at a time because of my back. I have to just do it in sections and I'll take you along for that too, because why not? You know, here I am just sharing my life with you guys. I might as well share this chicken's really hot. Share, you know, clean in my yard too. Because who knows, you might like it. You might just sit there and go, I, I don't know, I, I like watching her clean the yard. I, it's just weird, but it's something I like watching. And I will tell you, a lot of people just like watching other people do things. So you're watching me take apart chicken right now, not really exciting. I mean, no, I didn't have a ton of views on you guys watching me get ready to go see a concert the other night, but you know what? Those of you who watched it liked it. So why not? Why not share? Sharing is fun. And I love when you guys make comments and you know reach out and say, oh, I like that, or thanks for sharing that idea. I love that. That makes me happy. So I'm not gonna do every little thing because I wanna show you, I'm doing most of it though. I wanna show you what I make for lunch because it's that good. And you, you're you gonna try it. I know, I know that at least one of you is going to try this. All right, you know what, let me just finish the chicken because I'm not gonna put these gloves back on. I'm not gonna get another pair of gloves. I'm just not, I want it over with. I want this to be done. So let me just finish it. This, this thing yields a lot of chicken, kids. I'm telling you, a lot of chicken. There's a lot in this bowl. 
like a ton. Look, at it just keeps going. And now, so my daughter-in-law, Kendra, texted me yesterday and said that, you know, Chris is now addicted to Market Basket chicken. And they live way closer to Market Basket than I do. I take the drive because it's worth it. And she said, and I've seen them, but I have not purchased one because I think it's just a little too much for Al and I. But now Market Basket has like chickens that are double the size. I know, I know. So it's $10. She got it, she bought it and she said, there's so much chicken that comes off of this chicken. That sounds weird, right? There's so much chicken that comes off of this chicken. And she was happy with the value of the $10 chicken. I just said, I think it's a little too much for us, but you go do your $10 chicken and you enjoy it. And she said, I am, and we are, we're enjoying it. So I don't know how they started doing that, but it makes sense, you know, if you got a bigger family, bigger than just the two of you, or even one of you, because this, even for one person, this is amazing. Like you, you will get a lot of meals out of this. A little bit more here. Look at that. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you all the chicken I get out of this. And you know, somebody, somebody just said to me too, I think it was my brother's girlfriend. Oh, you should put the, or Michelle, maybe Michelle said it. Put the chicken and make a soup. I don't do that. I just don't, I don't have time. Isn't that ridiculous? I do have time, but I don't. I just don't do it. I gotta have a piece. Oh my gosh, look at, look, it's a whole bowl. It's a whole bowl of chicken. See this bowl? Look at $4.69. This is a lot of chicken. I don't know if you can tell, but it's a lot. So now, what I'll do, I don't have to, all right. If the chicken's in the fridge, I will put it in a little bowl and I will heat up enough for one wrap. So today we're gonna do the spinach ones. We're gonna open these up. I take one wrap. I'll just do one for you guys right now because I'm starving. I get out. What's the matter, buddy? And of course, you can do so many things with this. This is what I do. You can add to it, take away. I don't care what you do, but it, you gotta try it. I have sweet baby rays, hickory and brown sugar barbecue sauce. I don't put a lot on here. I don't. Like literally that. Did you see that? Watch, I'm gonna show you. I just do a squirt. I just do one squirt. It looks like poop, doesn't it? But it's not. And then I put a little bit of Market Basket shredded cheese. Just do a little bit, just like a scoochie. I don't know how much a scoochie is, but I'll show you what my scoochie is. My scoochie is about that much. There's no measure. Put it in the microwave for 30 seconds. Maybe 20, I'm gonna do 25, 25 seconds. 25 seconds, then I will proceed to put the chicken on the wrap. And there's our lunch. It's so good. So, so good. I'll show you. I'll show you what the finished product looks like. These wraps are just, whoever invented these, I love them. They're mission, mission carb balance. So good. So see the scoochies melted with the BBQ sauce? So good, so good, so good. I'll take some chicken. Not a lot because you want to be able to, you know, fold your wrap. Put it on there like that. Then you wrap it. Like roll it and wrap it. And it looks just like that. It's so good. And literally there's, there's nothing in this, nothing. Like barely, I mean, of course there's calories in it, but it's so good, so, so good.
All right, guys. I'll see you soon. Um, who knows what's next? Could be me cleaning the yard. Could be me taking the dog for a walk. Who knows? Subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you soon. Bye, guys.